Adventures. And today, we are going to be working on a master bedroom makeover, a transformation of epic proportions, because it needed. Now you know that my favorite color is purple. Love purple, honey. But you know what? I decorated the master bedroom in all purple. There's purple curtains. There's a purple headboard. There's purple bedding. And eventually, it just started to feel heavy to me. So we're going to lighten it up. We're going to brighten it up. Just going to be doing some beautiful things in that room. So stick with me and let's get into it. Hey, y'all. I just want to give you a quick before of my bedroom. That is the uh, entrance to the master bath. My closet in the corner. Easy chair. Turn it around here. And that is my bed wall area. And um, continuing on, I have the bay window. Excuse that. I have the bay window here. That's all the supplies that I bought for my room. Over in this corner, I have my armoire with the stereo on top. And in the corner, I have a mini fridge, a wine fridge, and my little bar set up. So that's this side of the room. Got some junk there. And um, my TV is up on the wall. I got one of my favorite girls on the wig stand. So, that is the before view of the master bedroom. Double doors out into the wall. And turn it around once again so you can see a full view of the master bedroom. And the old school ceiling fan that's up there. I have a piece of artwork that I love, but I don't feel that's the right place for it. So this is my bedroom before the makeover.
Welcome to the master bedroom. When you walk into the room, one of the first things you'll notice is that I change the lighting to this beautiful espresso and crystal ceiling fan. I need a ceiling fan in this room. I must have it. But why shouldn't it be pretty? The next thing you'll see that I did was I changed the trim around my closet doors. Now, it's a small change, but to me, it makes a huge impact. In this corner, I have a beautiful piece of African art, a woman's sculpture, which you know I love my African sculpture and artwork. The espresso furniture I got many years ago from Raymore and Flanagan, and I simply just polished the furniture and spray painted the knobs a metallic silver. And I think that made a big difference. These beautiful lamps I got from Burlington, crystal lamps with the white drum shade. And on the nightstand, this is my wife's nightstand and she likes to keep it very simple. So there's just a picture frame, praying hands, clock and beautiful coasters made by Tracy Jones designs thank you Tracy they are gorgeous and they match my decor beautifully these mirrors I got from Walmart $29.99 but I think they add that nice little bit of shimmer and silver and help to brighten up to the room the bed area, I did do this headboard, running boards, and footboard as a DIY. Bed, I have a beautiful knit throw that I ordered on Amazon. I have a nice silver tray, which I've had for some time. And on that silver tray is another DIY blinged out book. I have just a candle, a small succulent, and a piece of crystal. The comforter set I got from Big Lots on sale. And all the pillow covers that you see, the gray and the purple, I ordered on Amazon. The pillows in the back, shop my home. Those are additional pillows that came with my couch. And I always felt like there were too many pillows on the couch. So I just took these three and added it to my bed. And because my room is painted beige, but my decor is gray, I like that combination of gray and beige that's on the bed. Above the headboard, I ordered these smalls from Amazon and I will link that down below. I love that little extra touch of mirrors and it's a nice accent without being too much. When I saw these mirrors, I knew they would be perfect. Onto my side of the bed. Here I have the matching Walmart mirror and the matching crystal lamp with the drum shade. Here I have a mirrored glass tray a wonderful scented candle, and my DIY forever rose. And I'm, I hope that you watch that. If you haven't, I will make sure to leave a link down below. And again, I have the custom made coasters made by Tracy Jones Designs. She has an Etsy shop and I will link that down below. In this corner, we have our mini fridge and bar area. And a beautiful piece of art that belonged to my mom.
I forgot to mention the beautiful new rug that I ordered on Wayfair. So, like I said, I was removing all of the purple from the room, but not quite all of it. I still did purple accents, and the purple rug is one piece. On the bed, I have purple pillows. On the nightstand, I have the purple flowers. And then, in the bay window, I have these beautiful purple recliners that I also ordered from Wayfair. They are tufted manual recliners. They're called the Judy Rec Recliner. They have these very nice espresso legs. And again, I will try to link those down below. Between the two chairs, I have my DIY painted table that I got from Facebook Marketplace. And then the matching chair on this side. In the bay windows, I did the same treatment that I did in the bathroom. Simple white shears framed with gray silk draperies that I got on Amazon. And I will link that down below. And in the window, I have a silver container that has a beautiful calla lily. That was my present for Valentine's Day. Moving on to this side of the room. We have our armoire here. On top of the armoire, I've placed my ginger jars, a DIY thrift flip. Next to that, I have this beautiful face statue that I got from Home Goods. In the back, I have another statue, and then I have two silver candle holders that I got on sale at Christmas tree shops. I removed the large shelf stereo and replaced that with my Bose Wave radio. And now this area looks well put together and well composed. Here on my dresser, I have some family photos. I have a silvered mirrored tray that has my collection of antique perfume bottles. And then on the end here, I have some beautiful mercury glass candlesticks and purple glitter candles in them. And that was another DIY. And that is the end of, of the master bedroom tour. I hope you like it. Please leave me some input in the comments section and tell me what you think of the master bedroom makeover. I am very happy with the result. I love the purple accents. I love the silver gray as the primary color in the room. And I am so thrilled with the result. I hope this gives you inspiration to make over your master bedroom area. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can do Lux for Less.